happens to fans to earn respect. It's a courageous Cunningham run to the relentless pursuit of Reggie White. Like Dick Vermeer, these eagles come to work. slinging Sammy Ball to Joe Gibbs in his diverse dynasty to push the boundaries. These are the Redskins. We're here in Landover, Maryland for this matchup between the Eagles and the Redskins. Hello friends, Jim Nance along with Bill Sim. Just prior to kickoff for this primetime extravaganza and this adds another whole layer of excitement when you have this game under the lights. Yeah, it makes it more exciting for the fans. It builds up their enthusiasm because they're out there uh, tailgating all day, getting ready for the game but also for the players. They lay around no matter what you do during the day. All you can think about is the game. How's it going to work out for us? So I think we're going to see a lot of excitement because of that. And now with more on today's game, let's go down to Danielle Bellini. Thanks, guys. As you both know, history is a big part of every divisional matchup in the NFL. So even though there's a lot of roster turnover year to year in the league, both sides here today still recognize that any divisional game ratchets up the passion on the field. And guys, today should be no different. So expect a very physical game. Back to you. Thanks, Danielle. And now we'll go to the field. Redskins ready for action. He'll start his return. This big return's going to set up his team in excellent field position. Here's the former first pick now, Michael Vick taking the field for his first series today. Michael Vick can make all the throws on the football field. There's no doubt about it. He can fit that football into some small spaces. Avant in the slot. First and ten. The give. They deck him in the backfield. The long-time productive tight end for the Eagles is Brent Sellett. He's just one of those tight ends that knows how to get deep down the field, can make the catches, and has sneaky speed to get open when he has to. The Redskins come out in the nickel from the shotgun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Well, it was a nice throw by the quarterback that time to, to get just enough yards to pick up the first down. Jackson's going to get set in the slot for this snap. First and ten. They go counter. They up the middle. Out. They take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. A player to watch today is quarterback D'Angelo Hall. I like D'Angelo Hall. He can play the inside receiver. Very aggressive. And there are times when he's one of the better defensive backs in the NFL. Avance, a receiver in the slot. Second down and seven. The run with it again. Slashing to the right side. Yeah, I know it was a short run that time by the, by the offense, but it's what it's going to do for you long term. Keep running that football. Try to wear the defense down. 
Michael Vick and Robert Griffin the third these quarterbacks with similar styles but separated by about 10 years of experience Bill yeah it, it, I think that's a good analogy of the two I think the 10 years says a lot if Michael Vick uh, came out in the NFL and it was like it is now 10 years ago, I think he would have been a different quarterback and probably had more success. Michael Vick is a, has a great throwing arm. Robert Griffin III is hoping he develops into a great thrower in the NFL. Do you see other similarities between these two? Yeah, I think the similarities between these two quarterbacks, uh, Jim, when you look at them, they have to find a way to stay on the field. That's, that's their job for their team. Don't show how brave and tough you are. We know you are. Be healthy so you can line up every single week, every single week, and help your team win. The clock is down at the three yard line. He emerged as a star for coach Art Riles at Baylor, went on to win the Heisman, and come into the league as a first round pick, quarterback Robert Griffin III. Robert Griffin III showed everybody in the NFL there's another way to run an offense and have success in the big leagues. Uh, running the football, all the great play action passes and throwing down the field worked out great for Robert Griffin III. And a player to watch today is tight end Fred Davis. When you have a running quarterback like RG3, the tight end can be a really good weapon to throw the football over the middle. Look out for Fred Davis. They hand it off to the running back. And that's a gain of 10. Excellent job of just picking up the first down. This offense is hot. Another first down, and they are moving down the field. First down here after the run. And they feed it to him again. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. Well, that was a nice run that time off tackle. And listen, this is a bread and butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get in that secondary and make a nice run out of it? They feed him the ball again. Good run that time. It results in a first down, and it moves those chains on the sideline. Keep those chains moving. Hire that defense out. RG3 has it under center. Looking to the right side and throwing. Fights through that hit. Dragged to the ground. Looks like he's still about a yard short of the first. Well, that was a nice job by the offense. It just puts him in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. The Redskins come out in the pistol. Play action fake. Trying to work that left side. That's a tackle by Kenny Phillips. Well, he had all day long to throw the football that time. That's why he had success throwing the football down the field. I'll tell you what, this defense, they need to start blitzing this quarterback. Lined up in the pistol formation. First down and 10. And Morris is going to secure the handoff. And he's brought down by Ryans. Alpha Morris, you could have given the... Rookie of the Year award. That's how good he was for the Washington Redskins. What a terrific job running the football. Broke tackles, and he was the surprise of the NFL last year. RG3 has it under center. Now first and ten. Play action. The quarterback throws to the right. And picks up maybe three or four. This Philadelphia defense has quite a presence with D'Amico Ryans. Yeah, D'Amico Ryans. We saw him make a lot of tackles with the Houston Texans. And he did the same thing last year with the Eagles defense. He knows how to get to the football.
Setting up in the pistol on this play. Second down and five. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Tackled down at the 22. Well, if you want to be a good play-action pass team, it's always nice to have a good running game. Make the defense dig in and try to stop your run. When they do that, you fool them. You fake it, you throw it down the field. That, that's, that's about as easy as it gets. What do you see out of this running back matchup today, Phil, with LaShawn McCoy and Alfred Morris? Well, what I see, LaShawn McCoy, when you talk about him throwing the football, he is absolutely terrific in the pass game but able to make guys miss, has the speed. And I think this Chip Kelly offense fits his talents perfectly. And Alfred Morris, he is just a working man. He comes to, it's the old, the old cliche, he's a lunch pail kind of guy. That's what he is. He runs hard and picks up tough yards. How much do you expect these teams will lean on these backs today? Shoot, if you're a good player, make sure you get them the football so you lean on them. And if they have success, you stay patient and keep giving them the football either running the football, handing it off to them, but let's don't forget, Jim, they're both very good in the pass game. That play is going to be challenged. There is the red flag. Well, first off, you want to make sure it's a clean catch on the sidelines. Does he have possession of the football? And then once you declare he has possession of the football, Let's look down at both feet, see if they're in bounds, and don't forget, you must, must maintain possession of the football. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. You knew this was going to happen. There's the red flag, and the coach disagrees with the call on the field. So the challenge pays off. The referee overturns the play. Yeah, good challenge by the coach that time, Jim. The evidence was clear. And always, I think when you're a head coach in the NFL, you better have a trusted friend. Touchdown, Redskins. How about this gift? A wide open receiver down the field. The quarterback, good job of finding. He throws it down there and he gets the easy touchdown. The Redskins with the PAT to come. It's good. Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. Avant's lined up now as a slot receiver. First and ten. LaShawn McCoy takes the handoff. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Avant's lined up in the slot. Second down, three for the first. McCoy. Got the first, and he's got some space. Touchdown. Touchdown. There's no doubt about it. When you score like that to tie up the game, it shifts momentum. And it's all up now to the offense of the other team to get back out there and get the momentum back on their side.
the Eagles with a PAT to tie the contest. And the extra point is good. The Eagles really showed their strength on that last drive, piling up over 70 yards rushing. And that's a return of about 23 before he's hit and stopped. Moss is in the slot. Griffin in the shotgun formation. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Reaches in, swats it away. Just stick the football on him. When you see a receiver run around like this, they're going to the corner, drive it, throw it on a line drive, so that way there can't be a mistake. Davis playing out of position in the backfield here. Second down and 10. Griffin able to find Fred Davis. Good job that time by the quarterback. Throw the short pass, even though it doesn't result in a first down. Now on third and short, all of your passes are in play instead of just the third long where you only have like three or four plays you can go to. Moss is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Fifteen minutes down, 45 minutes to go. Back after this word from your local station. The Redskins' offense is still out there as we get the second quarter underway. 